Hi guys, you're joining me, Zane here, Dartis. We're gonna start off today fishing in the open waters. Um, we've got challenges here with the hyacinths, depending on the wind. As soon as the hyacinths is blowing in our direction, we'll change to, over to the marina. Um, on the strategy today is the natural mix. Um, we're gonna introduce some oilies into the mix, but as soon as the barbel starts picking up our hook baits and stuff, we'll put less oilies in. So yeah, let's see what holds today. We've managed to get this one through all these high sense. So it was quite a big battle with this guy. What a result after retrieving our bait boat that got stuck in the Isons. Um, with the Isons moving in now, we have we saw some fizzing here at the back in the marina. So our next tactic is to move our rods to the marina and let's see what happens. There's a lot of fizzing going on, so maybe we're lucky there. A few moments later. So we moved to the marina now, our lounge were in about an hour now, and we got our first take now, seems like a decent fish. Yeah, let's see what we've got on the end of the line. <laughs> so for this session, um, I'm using the short curve XT hooks. It's the first time me using them, and I must say I'm very impressed with them. The hook holds were very great. When I redo this rod, I'll show you exactly the rig and the and stuff. But yeah, let's get the nets and land the fish. Uh, it seems like it's a better size. Um, the other run we had was quite smaller carp. So far it looks better than all the other smaller ones. Yeah, let's see. This is the results of the fish we caught now here in the marina. Um, baits we used was a tiger nut topped off with a fake maize, the pink ones of monster carp, with a short curved XT hook. It was a great hook hold in the bottom lip. So yeah, this is our results. So let's hope there's more coming to our way. <laughs> Okay hey guys, I'm quickly going to show you the rig I've used on the day session. Um, this is that short curve XT hook I spoke about. Um, we're testing it out today. The hook holds is very good so far. Um, I'm quickly going to put on the tiger and the monster fake mace, the pink one. So firstly I'm going to put on the bait floss. Uh, 
on. Okay, then normally I just take the tiger nut, trim off the top end, so the fake mace can just sit on top of it. So, we're going to take the needle, should through the fake maze on that flat side of the tiger. So then I just have to pull through the bait floors. Then I just trim off the ends slightly long and then I just take a lighter then I just trim then I just press it down to blob it so the fake maze can't go off like that and that's how quick and easy it is this is the bait presentation the hook we spoke about and yeah that's working fast So this is our second run now in the marina. Um, we have to be very quick due to this floating jetties. They've got all chains and all the ropes hanging. So if you're not quick on them, yo, they get so snagged up you tend to lose your fish on the old chains and stuff. But looks like luckily this one we've turned his head so he's coming out. So it looks like it's the second one so far since we've been fishing in the marina so it's quite fun catching them while the open water is full of ice and you get chance to fish the marinas. the results of the second fish we've caught here in the marina. It was quite an epic battle with all the chains and floating jetties. But yeah, the results is on the bank. And caught again on the short curve XD hooks. Um, again a tiger nut tipped off with a um, pink fake maze of monster carp. And yeah, here's the results. Guys, I'm very impressed with the new range of boilies. The new improved boilers of Monster Carp. There's three new flavors on the shelves. The Scopex Crow, the Maple Supreme and the Tiger Corn. Um, they've been tweaked a lot with flavoring, the texture. I must say they're very soft when you press them between your two fingers. But also they're so firm they can stay for long periods on your ears. For those longer sessions on weekends or even week sessions. So we've been testing them we're very happy with the textures and stuff so please guys go grab a tub for yourself and see the, see the new improvements see how it does and I'll, i'm sure you'll do good and great fishing with them in our range of boilies tiger corn maple supreme sweet corn pineapple exotic fruits butter cream scopex crow for the newbies out there the questions were where and where can I use boilies? Um, certain venues you use, there's only boilies, there's a ban on particles. Then there's certain venues like Artis, where you can fish boilies, particles. But in the summer months, the bubble at Artis normally, they can get a nuisance by taking your boilies. So we start off with boilies and particles. So we've put on boilies and to see what happens if the bubble gets a nuisance we just change over to our particles but in our feed we mix them but certain venues there's a particle ban but then it's quite easy you can just feed pallets boilies so in my feed there's also boilies they're quite easy because their texture is very soft so you can just break them down for finer um, pieces in your feed um, we can also add on our pallet range. It's a fishy sinking pallet. There's two, four, six, and eight moles. Just to make the sizes all different sizes and shapes so the leakage of your bait can 
um, track all the carp in your areas. And just another tip when fishing pallets in your feet, just to add your pallets as soon as you're starting to go drop your lines because when you feed your pallets inside this wet feed, they tend to get dissolved. So the moment when you want to fish, it's going to really be dissolved inside your feed before it hits the water. So I recommend just before you take out lines, add your pallets to your particle mix or your boiler mix. We just had a run now. It's the fourth one. The previous one we've lost due uh, to a chain there on the jetties so yeah let's hope we can land this fish all the obstacles in between with the jetties floating the wind pushing them so yeah it's quite difficult but let's see maybe we'll manage and get this one out i'm used to fishing the um the stronghold hooks but i must say i'm very impressed with this short curve xt hooks the land ratio on these hooks are phenomenal um, so, as, so far all the fish we've hooked with solid hookups um, the land we've land all the fish on the hooks so yeah i'm very impressed with them so yeah let's see let's land this one it's close by now hey guys here's that short curve xd hook it's in the scissors of the mouth, squatter. Here's that one I made you. Here's that the result um, of the last run. With all the conditions, with the hyacinths blowing this way, that way. Um, all the obstacles we faced. But yeah, at the end we've got the results. Great hook holds great bait so yeah this is the end of the session for us um we're ending it off with our eye with all the conditions i think we've done very good here so yeah till next time <laughs>